Egypt, a country famous for its ancient civilization, antiquities, and relics. A country of pyramids, Sphinx, Temple of Pharaohs, Egypt is considered a cradle of civilization, has one of the longest histories of any country, tracing its heritage along the Nile Delta back to the 6th to 4th millennia BC. In this video, I will share my experience of visiting Egypt, which includes the visiting of Cairo, Alexandria, Aswan, and Luxor. I will also tell you when is the best time to visit Egypt and what you should be careful of while visiting Egypt. So let's watch the video until the end. On the 7th November 2022, we set off for a week-long visit to Egypt from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport with a two and a half hours transit in Doha. It was about 7 hours 45 minutes flight from Kuala Lumpur International Airport to Doha Hamad International Airport. About two and a half hours transit in Doha, we took our next flight to Cairo, which took another 3 hours and 45 minutes to reach in Cairo International Airport. Cairo, the capital of Egypt, and also the largest city of the country. Located near the Nile Delta, Cairo is considered a wall city, home to 10 million people. It is associated with ancient Egypt for the Great Pyramids of Giza, the ancient cities of Memphis, and Heliopolis. While you are visiting Cairo, Nile dinner cruise should be one of the attractions that you must not miss. We took two hours round trip through the Nile using Nile River cruise which include on board buffet dinner with some cultural performance like belly dance and the famous Egyptian folk dance called Tanora. You can also move to the upper deck of the cruise to enjoy the spectacular skyline view of Cairo while enjoying some soft drinks like Arabian tea or Turkish coffee. The Giza Pyramid Complex is located in the city of Giza, which falls in Greater Cairo about 13 kilometers southwest of the Cairo city center. The three main pyramids known as the Great Pyramid of Khufu, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the Pyramid of Menakau, along with their associated pyramids, are located in the Giza Pyramids complex. The Great Sphinx is also located in the area. The Pyramid of Khufu, also called the Great Pyramid of Giza, is the biggest Egyptian pyramid. The Egyptian Museum is another attraction that you must have in your itinerary while visiting Cairo. It is the oldest archaeological museum in the Middle East and houses the largest collection of pharaonic antiquities in the world. It is located in the heart of the city, on the northern side of Tahrir Square. The museum consisted of two floors. Depending on the crowd, it may take about two hours to visit the entire museum. The museum is open for public every day between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. The citadel 
of Saladin is also called the Citadel of Cairo. It is one of the most iconic monuments in Islamic Cairo. It is located on the Muqattam Hill at the heart of Cairo city center. The fortress was named after the Sultan Shah al-Din al-Ayyubi, who was the first to order the construction of the fortress in 1176 AD, though it was not completed during his lifetime. Sultan Shah al-Din al-Ayyubi was a Muslim Sultan of Egypt, Syria, Yemen, and Palestine. He was the founder of Ayyubid dynasty and the most famous Muslim hero. Currently, the fortress complex is divided into two parts, the northern enclosure where the National Military Museum is located and the southern enclosure where the Mosque of Muhammad Ali is located. The Great Mosque of Muhammad Ali was commissioned by Muhammad Ali Pasha, an Albanian Ottoman governor and de facto ruler of Egypt between 1805 and 1848, considered the founder of modern Egypt. After Cairo, our next city to visit was Alexandria, a Mediterranean port city. It is the second largest city in Egypt. Founded by Alexander the Great in 331 BC, the city is located about 183 kilometers northwest of Cairo. Though it was best known for the lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the city offers many places of attraction for visitors, such as the Citadel of Cairo Bay, Montaza Palace, Bibliotheca Alexandrina, Morsi Abu Abbas Mosque, and so on. The Citadel of Cairo Bay is a 15th century defensive fortress located on the eastern harbor of the Mediterranean Sea coast. It was built by the Circassian Mamluk Sultan Al Ashraf Saif al Din Cairo Bay to defend the attack from Turks. It was considered one of the most important defensive strongholds along the Mediterranean Sea coast. After visiting Alexandria, our next destination was Aswan. It is a city in southern Egypt and is the capital of Aswan Governorate. Most people living in modern Aswan are Nubian origin. To save time in journey, we took a flight to Aswan. The flight distance from Cairo to Aswan is about 700 kilometers, which took us about 1 hour 25 minutes by Nile Air. Upon arriving in Aswan, we proceed to visit the Aswan High Dam. Aswan High Dam is one of the world's largest embankment dam, which was constructed across the Nile River. The dam was built between 1960 and 1970 to control flood, to store water for irrigation, and to generate hydroelectricity. The construction of High Dam also resulted in the largest man-made lakes in the world called Lake Nasser, which is about 479 km long and 16 km across at its widest point. After enjoying the beautiful site of Aswan Haidem and the Lake Nasser, we proceed to visit the Temple of Komombo. It is located on the bank of the Nile River, about 48 km north of Aswan in a town called Komombo. It is one of the oldest and unique temple in Egypt as a double temple dedicated to two deities, Sobek, the crocodile god, and Heroeris, the falcon god. It is unusual for any Egyptian temple to be set up for two gods or to have a double dedication. There is also a crocodile museum at the compound where a few of the 300 crocodile mummies discovered in the vicinity are displayed in the museum. On our way to Kong Ombo Temple, we also stopped by the famous unfinished obelisk, a granite monument that was never finished due to clearly visible cracks that appeared in the granite. After staying overnight in Aswan, 
we set off for Laxor in the morning, right after breakfast. It took us about four hours from Aswan to Laxor by road. Laxor is a city in southern Egypt. It is located on the east bank of the Nile River and the north side of Aswan. It is one of the popular tourist destinations in Egypt and frequently characterized as the world's greatest open-air museum as the ruins of Egyptian temple complexes at Karnak and the Luxor stand within the city. We stayed two days in Luxor. Our visit to Luxor was with full of excitements. Besides visiting Valley of Kings, Valley of Queens, Karnak temples, Luxor temples, we have also enjoyed the beautiful moments of riding hot air balloon and boating in the Nile River. If you love to collect souvenirs, there are shops and marketplaces almost every corner. Foods are delicious in Egypt. There are many good restaurants. We enjoyed local foods delicacy while staying in Egypt. I found most people in Egypt are very friendly and welcoming. At the same time, you should be careful of scammers and muggers. If you are planning to visit Egypt, the best time to visit Egypt would be September to April. The weather during the time is more pleasant compared to the other time of the year. Pre-planned and guided tour is advisable to avoid hassles if you are visiting Egypt in group or alone. Customs in Cairo Airport may not like you to carry a lot of video shooting equipment without prior permission, and the same might apply to video shooting in the historical places like Pyramid Complex. I hope I have given you some important information about visiting Egypt. You may share your experience in the comment box. If you have already visited Egypt, please consider subscribing my channel. Hope to see you with a new video soon. Thank you for watching.